Hey, my fellow investors, uh, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. We are approaching towards the end of the year. Um, actually, we have only 31 more days to go. And the question is, what have you been able to uh, achieve this year when it comes to organizing your finances? Have you been able to sit back and realize you actually one year close to retirement? Maybe it hasn't sunk in yet. Or you're just waiting for someone to come and take care of it for you. The truth is no one will. And if you really want to be financially independent and retire on your own terms, rather than uh, the age that has been set up for you to retire at 65. And although the majority of the people can't afford to retire at that preset age of 65, then you have to take action now. Now that I'm done pulling some knowledge, let's jump into my portfolio. Another month has uh, passed and uh, taking a look at uh, my portfolio, how it has performed during the month of November. This month has quite uh, been a nice month for so many investors and uh, my overall uh, portfolio has been in green. Now the stock market has hit all time highs this month with uh, Dow Jones crossing over 30,000 points for the first time. It is a happy moment for those who've been uh, in the market. But before I dig into my portfolio, don't forget to hit the like button and uh, consider subscribing. Now, for those of you who are new to this channel, uh, I began the challenge of investing with Robinhood at the beginning of uh, last year. After that, I've constantly invested $1,000 each month. Now, the key here is uh, consistency. Uh, it doesn't matter how much you invest. Um, you could invest more than I do or you could invest less. It doesn't really matter. But the key is to keep investing regardless of uh, how the market is doing at that particular time. So in this video, as always, I'm going to show you how um, the portfolio has performed and the dividends I've collected. And uh, as you know, a lot has happened this month. First, we had an election. Then the great news happened earlier this year. Pfizer and Biotech uh, announced that uh, they are um, COVID-19 vaccine was 90% effective and after the news the markets just took off from there and since then they have just been hitting all-time highs. Now this is what makes investing in the stock market uh, to be the most fun as far as investing goes. One time you you down, the pandemic happens, uh, everyone panics and the stock market crashes and then on the other hand uh, the vaccine is announced and uh, the market skyrocks. The stock market is all about running out the downturns uh, then you are going to come out happy if you stay invested. Now if you don't believe me then believe history at least it shows how many times the stock market has uh, dropped and bounced back. As I'm about to show you my portfolio you're going to see that almost this month everything has been in green. Even the oil sector which was affected so much this year and although I'm still in uh, red uh, but you can see uh, how it is climbing up. Uh, my monthly uh, cash flow is still the same. You know it hasn't changed. Uh, this this month I invested actually more. I invested uh, $1,200 into the stock market instead of uh, the $1,000 which I normally do. Uh, I had some extra money uh, left over due to uh, spending almost nothing. You know the COVID-19 has been a blessing as well. Like uh, if you have realized, I don't know about you, I've been spending less. I mean, I don't go out anymore. Uh, instead of going to a lounge, I stay home. If I need a drink, I uh, go to a liquor store and buy it. And uh, that has enabled me to uh, actually save more than I was saving even before. So, I mean, there's an advantage with the COVID. Um, of course, uh, the disadvantages outweigh the, uh, the advantages, but uh, you try to look at the positive part of it. So if we take a look at uh, how the portfolio has performed this month, um, we can see that uh, currently my uh, portfolio is sitting at $28,640.73. Um, so if we take a look at the past one week, I'm up by $1,058.19. For the past one month, I'm up by $2,483.76. Then if we go past three months, uh, we up by $1,898.99. Uh, past one year, you know, this is when actually, if you think about it, the stock market dropped, if I remember correctly, uh, at the beginning of March, uh, my portfolio dropped to $9,000. So if you see how much does bounce in the last one year, you'll be so amazed. Because so many people lost money when they sold, but actually those that stayed into the market, they made a lot and a lot of money.
So if you take a look, I'm up by $3,452.70. That is in the past 12 months. Since uh, I began the investing journey, which is last year, like I told you, I began the journey in March, to be exact, March 15th of 2019 with this account. I'm up by $4,117.45. So that's how my portfolio is performing. And if we take a look at uh, how much I'm getting in dividends, November 2nd, I received $1.21 from my LTC. Then I received $2.49 from SPHD. I received $11. Uh, from a um, new residential investment, I received uh, $3.16 from JP Morgan. I received uh, $15.24 from um, AT&T. I received uh, $4.13 from uh, AGNC. I received $1.40 from Apple. I received uh, $1.41 from um, Realty Income. I received $3.88 from AbV. I received $6.09 from British Tobacco. That's British American Tobacco, I'm sorry. Uh, I received $24.11 from um, Energy Transfer. And I'm going to be receiving $1.32 from Starbucks, $1.50 from uh, Long Term care properties then again two dollars and 93 cents from sphd that gives me 14 different payments so how much did i make um oh I received $79.87. Yeah, that's how much I received. I received $79.87. And um, that's huge, you know? Like I told you uh, last, last month, I can use this money to pay my phone bill. But uh, there's no point of doing that because at the end of the day, uh, I'm doing this for retirement. I, I want to grow this income to the point that you can pay most of my bills. That was it for my uh, portfolio update for November 2020. Um, if you have any questions about my portfolio or uh, investing in general, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, I'm always very glad to help a fellow investor. And one of the reasons why uh, I work so hard and invest is because of the uncertainty of such a security when I retire. And even if it's there, uh, there's a chance it won't be enough for me to do the things that I've always wanted to do. I also want a peace of mind. For sure, I don't want to be 70 and worried about how I'm going to pay for my uh, electric bill or my prescriptions. And you know what? There are so many people that are going through the same thing right now. And not because they did not have uh, good jobs uh, when they were in their youth, but because they didn't plan for retirement. So the question is, are you planning for yours? Thanks again for watching another video. Again, I'm going to ask you to like the video and subscribe so that you can join the journey. See you in my next video.